He was educated at the University of Saskatchewan, the University of Toronto, and the University of British Columbia. She is a widow, a mother, and a grandmother, and uh, she is a descendant of grandparent Curry pioneers. There's more about uh, Mrs. Fogel's background in your press kit, but let me call on Connie to offer her comments. Connie Fogel. Yes, thank you very much. I am most pleased to have been included in a press conference that's dealing with the hostile takeover of the country of Canada, the country of the United States, and the country of Mexico by unelected, unaccountable corporate elite military and financial uh, participants as well. Um, it's very important that there be a voice in Canada that says, I am Canadian. I want to be Canadian. I love Canada. I want to remain Canadian. I want a nation. I want sovereignty. I want independence. That's my birthright. That's what I expect from this country. And that's what I am going to have in this country because there exists for this country and in this party, one party, one party, which is a very small country and a party, and it's a tragedy that it's only one party that is saying that it's not a threat that we're losing Canada. There is a takeover, a hostile takeover in process, and there is no party, no party elected in Parliament that has been exposing it, that has been fighting it, that is even now in their statements prepared to say we want Canada. The statements that are coming, the official statements coming out from the Liberal Party, the uh, NDP, the Bloc Québécois, we don't have an official statement on the, uh, from the Conservative Party, but from the Green Party, which has no buddy in Parliament, but uh, is getting some more recognition, all are only complaining about the lack of transparency, all talking about the need for more discussion. The Canadian Action Party says, I'm sorry, we don't want a discussion and a debate on the death of Canada. We're not prepared to entertain the loss of this country. We say we like Canada as it's supposed to be and as it was. We're not saying the particular process is not good or that this particular model is not good, which some non-governmental organizations are saying. We're not complaining about the model of the Security and Prosperity Partnership Agreement that is the Canadian Action Party, isn't we're saying it's not that the model isn't good enough for an integration of North America, we're saying we don't want an integration of North America, period. We want Canada, period. We want our independence, period. We want our sovereignty, period. We want our nationhood, period. Nations matter. Canadians are different from people from the United States, and we're different from people from Mexico, and vive la différence. Yes. We respect each other. We've had good relations. We, that will continue. Trade will always continue. It's always been here and always will be here. It's necessary. These agreements, these arrangements are not about trade. They're about the destruction of sovereign nations. There's an intention, a deliberate intention, to destroy nations and to destroy sovereignty. And it's about time that we've got political leaders that are prepared to take the bull by the horns and call it for what it is and say it's got to stop. And I'm most grateful for the leadership coming out of the United States of America, where we actually have some political leaders in elected positions saying, we do not want the North American Union. They're actually calling it for what it is. And we've got state legislatures, 19 of them, who are saying, we don't want a North American Union. It's a disgrace in Canada that we have not one political party that's in Parliament, not one provincial party in this country who are saying we do not want a North American Union. And this small party called the Canadian Action Party that's been around since 1997 based on sovereignty and independence is a party that's saying to the Canadians, we're here for you. We're the vehicle. The other parties have let us all down and the only reason the Canadian Action Party exists is precisely because none of the other parties are prepared to stand up for the nation of Canada, the independence of Canada, and the sovereignty of Canada. And none of the other parties recognize the power that exists in the sovereignty and control of your money. We know that. We tell you about it. And we're prepared to struggle with you for that. And don't be mi mistaken for one moment 
that this North American Union has its intention of a common currency, an Amero, or even it's talked about, and the intention is to remove the sovereignty even further from the people. Because any, any people that has no control over the, contr the creation, the distribution, and the operation of the money has no control over anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's in government if they don't have control over the money. I'll end with that. Thank you, Mrs. Fogel. <coughs> Walter Jones, 